Y'all females out there going all out, buying all the different kind, kind of foundation from the from the one a pale white woman will use on her skin to the one a caramel sister will use on her skin to the one uh, a little dark skin sister will use on her skin to the one somebody that's black will use on their skin because you want to contour. Mm. You want to contour. Why are you spending all your money to buy makeup? Really? Why are you spending all your money to buy makeup? You want to put the light one here, put the dark one here, put some extra light one over there just to look cute. You just, you, you, you're just messing up your skin, man. You're just messing up your skin. And then you wonder why you grow, you grow old early. Your face grow old early because your skin not breathing. It's not releasing any toxins. Let me tell y'all that now. What happened to back in the days? You just used to get up in the morning, just put your hair in the ponytail, put some braids in, just let your hair fall down. Well, if if you're black, you know, just let your natural stick up like you got electrocuted go. People still think you're cute, but now you got to put so much foundation on. You got to put so much buffer. Are you a freaking wall? You got to put primer on. They got, I'll be tripped out. You got to put the primer here to make sure you got to put primer here to make sure when you put whatever shadow you want to put on top of your eye, it can look right. What? Are you a wall? Are you a drywall that you have to put primer on your face to make sure you are cute? To make sure your, your makeup, when you apply it, it looks right? Are you a wall? Are you a drywall? Them makeup companies, they killing y'all, man. They make you, they, they, they get you to the point where you, you get used to wearing makeup to the point where when you wash your face and look in the mirror, you scream because you don't like what you see. You scare yourself like, what the hell happened? I never used to look like that. Well, sunlight ain't been able to hit your face for the past 20 years. You've been wearing foundation on your skin every day. You go to shoot, you go to sleep with it because when you try to wash it, wash it off and go to sleep, you think you look very unattractive and you don't even want your man to see your skin looking, your face looking like that. So you go to sleep with your foundation on. Is it foundation, primer, whatever powder from the, the, pri the primer, the foundation, the, the powder, and all the other nicks and nacks y'all put in there. You don't want to go to sleep without it anymore because you don't want to scare your man. Going to sleep with eyelashes and stuff. I bet you some of y'all wake up in the morning with them eyelashes buried in your eyeball. How do you do it? Sometimes I rub my eye at night when I'm sleeping. Like if you got that fake stuff on your eyelashes, you're going to rub it right into your eye, you know, and scratch your cornea and just make your eyeball bleed. You know what? One time I, I, I wanted to try that stuff. That fake eyelashes, I wanted to try it. Y'all, I am not into makeup and all that fancy stuff. I'm not into it. On Sunday, yes, I'll put a little bit of powder on my face just for an even tune. But when I come home, I want to wash that stuff off. I don't need it on my skin. One time, I wanted to be, I wanted to fit in a little bit. Yep, yeah. I'll say fit in. I really can't fit in. Because I can't cope with that stuff. So I went to go get me some fake eyelashes. You know, the one they put on there individually. I didn't want to look fake. I said, you know what? If they put it on individually, it's going to look natural. So let me go so they can put it on individually so I can look very naturally beautiful. I went up there, lay in the chair. Gosh, I lay in the chair. I thought I was going under surgery. I had to be under a light. This lady take this surgical looking instrument to keep poking pieces of hair on my eye. I mean, I already got hair. I don't know what getting got in my head. I just wanted to try it. Because when y'all females put it on, y'all be like, I mean, like, y'all be, y'all be acting like y'all million dollars. Like, y'all a dime plus 99 when y'all put that fake stuff on y'all y'all be acting y'all be acting all bougie and stuck up y'all be acting like y'all the best thing ever created on planet earth y'all be acting like y'all mama had y'all just like that 
I'm laying over there crucifying myself. This lady take that surgical looking instrument, poking my eyeball with that thing, putting it on one at a time. And I'm like, man, if she poke me in the eye for one second, I'm suing her. Even though I went there willingly and put my butt in the chair so she can put it on my eye. I said, if she bruised my eyeball just a little bit, I'm going to sue her for $10 million. When she got done, here's the miserable part. So th this is what tells me that you guys, y'all female, some of y'all be miserable with that stuff on your eyes. This is the miserable part. When she got done, she had to blow dry my eye. I'm like, what? Why I got sick? Why, why is my eyeball being blow dry? That's only supposed to be done to my hair. Why my eyeball being blow dry? See, y'all do too much. Y'all do too much. I went to go discover how this stuff feel and it's miserable. When I left from there, after it got dried, I mean that glue got dried. That glue got dry. It had it got dried. It had little extensions after it got dry. It had little claws after it got dried. It had, it was dry to the point every time I winked my eye, I felt it scratching the inside of my eye. Like, really? Is this what y'all go through? Is this what y'all go through to be I don't know, to be the dime? You're in pain. How are you the dime? Maybe people are looking at you like, oh, she look good, but I bet you on the inside, you, mm, you hurting. You hurting because I'm like, I can't even wink my eye. I had to go to YouTube to find out how I can get the fake lashes that they don't apply with glue. I, need, I needed to go find out how I can get it off urgently. With some hot water, yeah, mm-hmm. I was rubbing my eyeball with that hot water. I got every piece of them fake stuff off my eyeball. That was the last time I ever went back to put that stuff on my eyes. So I don't see how y'all do it. Some of y'all deserve an award for that stuff. You know why? Because you put it on until you lose all the natural eyelashes. Do you know that some of these females don't have no eyelashes? Their eyelashes is bald, is gone. Everything is bald. There is not even a single strain of eyelashes left there anymore. How you gonna have eyelashes? You always applying the fake one, pulling it off, putting it back, pulling it off. Put, every time you pull it off, you're losing eyelashes. And then it gets to the point where you can't do without the fake stuff anymore. So, But we know it's fake. Even if you go bald and this and, and you go sit down and they put individual ones there, we know it's fake. Because we can see the glue at the base. It looks thick. It got claws. We can see it. We see it. Your skin, your skin don't look. The the, the skin on your eyelashes, there's no reason it should be looking like gender warts. Okay, because that's what the glue look like. It look like warts along your eye line there. At the base of your eyelashes, it look like you're growing warts over there. Because the glue all hardened up and stuff. Come on, man. Y'all suffering yourself. Y'all really suffering yourself. You don't have to go through all that to be, I don't know, categorized as beautiful lady or whatever. 